Good morning everyone, or evening, whenever you may be listening to this video. Today, I want to talk about the importance of living close to God when you're doing anything for Him. Writing Christian fiction romance is what I want to focus on. And for me, if I'm not where I need to be, it's pretty hard to do the job I need to do. We're not perfect. We all make mistakes. And I feel like it's important, you know, to write exactly what God says in these books because... It is for somebody. In book two of the God's Silver Lining book series, One Step Toward Faith, the police chief, Lemuel, he has a girlfriend. Now, they don't publicize their relationship. They kind of keep it quiet, and but they have, you know, very high standards for themselves. They make a commitment to God and one another that they're going to wait. We're all human. We've all made mistakes. I don't care if it's me. I don't care if it's you. We've all slipped up and made a mistake. Now, not that their children are a mistake, but they made a mistake. And, you know, their commitment to wait till they were married, they slipped up and broke one night. Did that make them horrible people? No, it did not. It doesn't make you a horrible person to make a mistake. However... If we do make a mistake, it's very important to get on our knees and work that out with the Lord. And, you know, they go on to become married, and they have a beautiful love story and lots of challenges. And we learn more about this in uh, book three, over and over again, and then The Keeper of My Soul, book four. Very deep book. Um, but the point that I want to make... When you're doing something for the Lord, I like to say, God's the boss. I'm working for the boss. Uh, he gives us free will, but at the same time, if we're not where we need to be with Him, you know, it's pretty hard for me to do the job that He has for me if I don't have open communication with God, if I'm not listening to what He's saying. It's pretty hard for me to do the job, write what He wants me to write. Because Christian fiction romance is something that... You know, it's for somebody. If God gives it to me to put on that page, it may be for one person, maybe it's for 15 people. I don't know who it's for exactly when he gives it to me. I just know I'm writing it for a purpose. And if I don't listen to what he's saying, I'm going to get off path, just like in life. If we get off the path God's leading us down, we make a mess, don't we? If we're trying to be in control in that driver's seat, God knows the curves, we don't. Same with, you know, Christian fiction and romance. God knows the words that's supposed to be on those pages. I don't until he gives it to me. And if I don't listen, I'm going to make a mess of it.